Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship will hold its first New Mexico card tomorrow in Rio Rancho. Fighters hit the scale to weigh in today. The fight card has a few New Mexico fighters who have competed on the national level, whether in MMA or boxing. Former UFC veteran John Dotson, a two-time UFC cha title challenger, is on the card in the co-main event. Dotson is making his BKFC debut. His brother Eric Dotson is also on the undercard. That's amazing because of the fact that we have everybody who's a local star coming out to represent for, for New Mexico. And this BKSA debut for all of us, well, not just all of us. Isaac's been fighting on the card. He's a veteran in the sport. And we want to just put it on a show for everyone. We want to make sure that New Mexico stays strong and always be the toughest people that they've ever seen. Valley Flag is the guy he's talking about. Very familiar with the promotion. He is one of the first from the state that started pursuing bare knuckle fighting after his MMA career. You know, Albuquerque's fighting history is so rich that, like, I wouldn't call myself the godfather or anything. You know, we have so many champions here and so many boxing MMA champions. Taylor Starling and BKFC flyweight champion Christine Faria are the headliners. They're fighting for Faria's belt, and the two got a little heated today. The card has a 7 p.m. start time at the Rio Rancho Event Center tomorrow night. Friday Night Football is serving up a West Side story. We heard from the other half of that story Thursday. Tonight, the West Mesa Mustangs get their say about facing the Volcano Vista Hawks. Former Lobo running back and Duke City Gladiators player and coach Landrick Brody is trying to turn a three-win team, three team from last season into a contender in his first year leading the program. The Mustangs started with a strong victory over perennial power Las Cruces last week and expect a challenge from the always stout Volcano Vista Hawks tonight. Uh, man, I think this will be a true test of the culture that we're trying to build. Uh, Volcano Vista is a good football team, man. They're physical. Uh, they're well coached. They play hard. Um, it's going to be a good test for us, a, a good measure to see, to see where we really stand as far as the, uh, the, the 6A category goes. Game time tonight, 7 p.m. at Nucinda Community Stadium. And don't forget, we have a late kickoff with high school football scores and highlights from all over the state. Friday night football right here on Fox New Mexico, 11.05 tonight. National Junior College champion and former Volcano Vista standout Diego Pavia took the bulk of the snaps under center with the New Mexico State first team this week. If I were a betting man, I would say that he'll be the starter when the Aggies open the Jerry Kill era Saturday night. Coach Kill hasn't formally announced who will start at quarterback against Nevada. Coach is also staying calm as he gets ready to coach his first game for the Aggies. You know, I'm a little bit more like this maybe than I used to be, uh, coaching a different type of kid than when I was coaching seven years ago. So I've had to make adjustments like that. But as far as me being jittery for the first game and can't sleep and all that, no, I've been pretty, actually been pretty good. And you're not a human being if you know if you're not excited and you know about what your team's going to do. I'm excited now. I just like to see what I'd like to see for you know where we're at. Game time in Las Cruces is 8 p.m. tomorrow night. The game will be broadcast in front of a national audience on ESPN2. Diego Pavia's old stomping grounds is called the Grindhouse. Defending National Junior College champions, NMMI Broncos start defense of their title tomorrow when they host Papagos. Now that they are on top, the goal is never to look down and keep trending upward. This program works, you know, I was just been able to put in a position where, you know, I was able to continue it and you know, with the staff that I have, which I believe is the best staff in the nation. And we're excited about the kids that we brought in and we're looking forward to bringing more, you know, kids that feel like they got what it takes to make it to the next level and to make it through the grindhouse. Game time in Roswell tomorrow, 4 p.m. 